So if we've established that the literary, the historical, social, cultural background is important, what would you say to someone who responds that perhaps the Bible is just an ancient book written by ancient people with concerns very different from ours. So in what sense then can the Bible um, be authoritative or how is it authoritative for the church? Ben, would you answer that one? Sure. Um, here's what I would say. The basic human dilemma, despite all cultural differences, is the same today as it was always. Namely, human beings are estranged from God. They've sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and yet they are created in God's image and need to be redeemed. Therefore, uh, because the gospel can be incarnated in any and all cultures, the cultural differences are not the critical thing in terms of the theological message. The critical thing is our position in relationship to God and God's posture towards us in Christ. And that hasn't changed across any and all of these cultures. And therefore, it's, it's not a matter of looking beyond the cultural differences. It's about looking through them and with them to see the same God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and mm -hmm. providing the same solution yesterday and today and forever, which is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Bill, would you have yeah, I was just thinking about that. Uh, your question as I was listening to Ben and thinking that's absolutely right uh, and I was thinking about a worldview. All people uh, everywhere have worldviews. So from ancient times to modern times uh, any thinking person looks at the world in a certain way and the worldview has four basic features. It answers questions, where are we, who are we, what's gone wrong and who can fix it. Those are the four basic questions of any worldview. Where are we, who are we, what's gone wrong and who can fix it. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, we can, in seminary, talk about, you know, cosmology and anthropology and hamartiology and soteriology. That's all the same thing, but th this is the simple way of saying it. I think every human being needs to know what's gone wrong. I mean, we all have these convictions about who we are in the universe, why we're different from the animals, for example. Uh, who can explain that? And uh, why is the thinking human being different from the animals? But what's gone wrong with humans? And what can fix it? The Bible gives us the only meta narrative, in my view, that actually answers those questions mm -hmm. in a way that is consistent and salvific. I mean, we, we all need to answer those questions. And I think what's happened in Scripture is God's revelation acts have been inscripturated by the Holy Spirit in a written form to give us answers. That's why we believe, you know, the Word of God is more than just a great inspired book from the ancient times, which might inspire us if we're of the right mind to read it. Mm -hmm. we, it's the answer. Right. <laughs> it's the answer to these questions in a, in a way that only the Bible can be because it's divinely inspired. So yeah. it's, uh, it's a great gift to the church. Where would we be without it? <laughs>